Hello guys, welcome to another edition of 10 minutes before the Platinum. And this time I'm gonna talk about Borderlands 1 for the PlayStation 3. And to be completely honest, I... By the time of the, this recording, the commentary, I actually did not get the trophy, the Platinum trophy yet. I'm actually working towards the collectibles for one of the DLCs. But there's only three love, three troph trophies left for me to get the platinum which is get kills without the remaining characters and that should be pretty pretty simple so i decided to record now to now that the game is fresh in my mind you know i first played borderlands one i believe it was in 2015 i guess and actually i did not like the game back then i don't know what it is i don't know if i felt the game was a little bit slow or maybe the the initial missions were kind of boring too much backtrack and kind of like that all i know is that i got a few trophies i played a little bit maybe one two days and then i kind of gave up on the game and it was at the end of 2019 when I decided that I wanted to let put let me put this on quotes like <clears throat> I wanted to clean my profile and by clean I mean get the trophies on games that it's kind of there you know that I kind of gave up one time and now I I'm trying to get more trophies on it sorry about that <laughs> so Borderlands was one of these games and what I used to to help me with that is that feature on PSN profiles that it tells you the easiest trophies you have in your profile that you have yet to earn and in the first page like the the top 10 trophies Let's say four or five, the easiest one were from Borderlands. So I decided, fuck it, I'm gonna give that another another try. I decided to make the same character, the same class, which is uh, the Mordecai, the sniper. And let me tell you, I'm really considering get the game for the PlayStation 4 now. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know if I'm in a different state of mind. I don't know. I don't know, I just, all I know is that Borderlands is a game that I now like very much. The Platinum itself is not hard. I mean, if you look at the, the, the trophy list, it's pretty straightforward. There is only one missable trophy from the base game. And the game itself is also very easy. About the missable trophy, all you have to do is collect... Is help all clap traps, which is that little robot that helps you throughout the game. You might want to take a look in a guide for that, to see where to find him. Because... I believe if you finish the game without collecting everyone, you might have to play a second playthrough correct me if I'm wrong I'm really I really don't know right now when I played I everything went perfectly so if you follow a guide you should not need to worry about anything you know there's a trophy that asks you to reach level 50 now I finished the base game doing all the missions and I finished all three DLCs that has story driven story for you to missions for you to do and I finished all those all the missions on those as well and on my first playthrough I ended up being level a little bit short on level 50 I think I was level 48 49 something like that so, even if you complete the game, doing everything that you can, 
even if you grind a lot, it's really hard for you to reach level 50 on your first playthrough. That's why the game has the option for you to start a new one, playthrough number 2, as the game calls it. The game gets harder, the enemies are kind of leveling up along with you, and the missions reward more experience. So, if you do the playthrough number two, you'll see that you level up much faster and get m better weapons much faster as well. So I recommend, if you if you want to to level up faster, I recommend that you start playthrough number two as soon as possible. People don't yet trust you. If you're going to ever find the vault, you'll need the aid of the people. Helping Dr. Zed with his nine toes problem is a good move. If you complete the the main missions, doing everything that you can, exploring every area, killing every enemy, doing every missions, it's probable that you end up being on level 34, 35. So it's really recommended that you do a second playthrough if you want to speed things up. If you have all the DLCs like I do, you can continue to play to play them, to do all the missions, to do whatever you want, and you probably end up being level 40, almost level 50. And then it's just a matter of grinding to reach level 50, it's not that much. But if, you like, if you're like me and you want to do 100%, then definitely you want to start a playthrough number 2, because in one of, those, in one of the DLCs, there's a trophy where you need to reach level 61 and that can take quite a while. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is that I I knew very little about Borderlands. My only contact with the game is like I said 2015 when I first started to play this one and back then I didn't like and I believe it was 2018 when the Tales from the Borderlands that Telltale game was given for free for PlayStation Plus subscribers and I played that game and I believe it it is still my best Telltale game that I have ever played even though it's from a franchise that I at the time didn't like, didn't know anything about, but that game like has a lot of characters that appears in this one, so it's kind of nice to to play and recognize some of the characters. So if you want a a different first-person shooter with a little aspect of RPG. Then you should definitely give give it a go on Borderlands. I guess that's it for now. I hope you have... If you tried to play the game. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you have enjoyed the video as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.